All right, so we're going to make a folder. And I'm going to show you the method with the File Explorer window. So again, if you click on the Start button, I have my File Explorer pinned here. But if you didn't, all you have to do is type File Explorer. It finds it right away. And you can just put your cursor on this blue File Explorer, and you can click it, and it will open. And then what you're going to do is you need to decide where you're making the folder. For you, it will be on your M drive. So come into the navigation pane and click your M drive. And I'm going to put mine in my junk folder. So you can see that I double clicked on my junk folder in order to get to the spot where I wanted to put the folder. And then right here, in the ribbon, in the home ribbon, if your ribbon doesn't show, it's this icon here, expand the ribbon. And you can click new folder icon. And immediately you see a box and blue words. Don't delete the blue words, just start typing the folder that you want. So if you're putting your memos in here, you can click memos, or sorry, type memos. And then to finish it, in the old days, we had to press the Enter key. So I'm going to press the Enter key. In the nowadays, you can click off to an empty spot, and it will also work. So that's how we make a folder. Now, if we have memos for um, two different departments, we might need to make another subfolder inside this one. So the point is that you always have to double-click and make sure that you are at the spot where you want to make the folder. Now this time I'm going to do a right click. And a right click brings me this little pop-up menu. I click New and slide across to Folder. And maybe I want to have one for Human Resources memos. And maybe I have a different department, like accounting or something. I don't know, because the accounting people don't always need to see the other memos, whatever. This is just setting up a place where you are going to store files. And you guys probably know, and again, I'm going to come to Janet's here. You know that we don't want to have too many folders because too many folders are just as bad as not enough folders. But when Janet was creating new files, you can see Janet now has a lot of files here, right? And I know, because I assigned these, that anything with a U was an underline file, right? So I might want to organize these for Janet. So I'm going to maximize right now, and I'm going to make a new folder in here. And it's going to be underline files, OK? And I'm going to take from number 1 to number 12. And, I, and I'm going to tell you a little trick here. If I click the first one, and then I press and hold the Shift key and click the last one, everything in between is selected. And now I just take one of them, and I'm going to pull it up here to the underline folder. And it says, Move to Underline Files. Perfect. Okay, Because you can see we had a lot of files in there. And now you, you know these are the underlying files. And the rest now, right now, I can see that uh, this was our color because I made these names. So I know that the little lone C was all the color files. And look, Janet is so good. Look, she has all 12 done. And so you can see I could make her a folder. And these were for our color exercises. Click the first one. Now do you, are you getting an idea why ha I say be very specific with these names? Because see how organized it is? So I know Janet has all 12 done. And now I can pull. doesn't matter whether I start on 7 or 12 or whatever. It's bringing all 12 over and putting them, them in there. If we didn't have folders for this, by the end of the course, you would have you know, 250 files in here. And you would think, oh my gosh, Like, what, what are all these? So uh, these are her formatting files. 
So again, we could make her a folder for character formatting. Enter, take all these, click the first one, shift click the last one, and pull them into there. And that is, is how we make folders. Just come back here, okay? So did that make sense? We went to where we wanted to make it. We click the new folder button on the Home tab, or we could do a right-click. 